We're going to unveil this document tonight. And tonight, we will know the truth about what is going on here at Camp Blanco. We put the document under glass to protect it, and we'd like to show you guys right now. Are you guys ready to see this? No, that doesn't seem like you guys are ready. I said, are you guys ready to see this? Wait, no, no, all right, hold on. I need you guys to give me a count now. From five. I don't even know where the document has gone, but we need your help now. So listen, I need your help because there's, not only are we missing the document, but there's some freak with a long wig and tights. <laughs> She just keeps losing stuff. The only thing I'm losing is my mind working with a knucklehead like you. Don't go wash your pan, Gina. Listen, it's been a stressful night. We were just in here working, making some snacks for you all, and somebody turned off all the lights. So Gina goes out to see what's going on. She slips and bumps her head on a table. So then I go out into the hall, and some guy pushes me down and runs away. It was so dark, I could barely get myself back in here. I'll tell you what, though, if I find out the guy who did it, I'm going to hit him in the head with this. Hit him right here. The only thing I know is that this guy must have been familiar with the building. How else would he have known to run down the hall in the dark? Could have had a flashlight. I don't know, Gina, but we got to get back to work. You kids better move along, because we got a lot of work to do tonight. Bye-bye. Someone turned out the lights. Yeah, we've been here all night. Mr. Otto can vouch for us. He saw us when he came into work this morning. He startled us because he came in when the lights just had come off. Well, I'm getting back to the problem. Apparently, there was a family that lived here on this lot. And they moved here from London in 1895, started a manufacturing company. It seems that through history, the family had been back and forth with the Civil War. Oh, well, sir, not. Civil War. The Civil War was in the 1850s, and the family was still in love with them. Seems that the lights going out probably confused me. Mm. Right again. Smashing good job. It seems as though the World War scattered the family and shut down the business. Now, uh, portions of the house and property were torn down or sold. However, this very library is all that remains of the original mansion. But according to our documents, it was sold by the last remaining family member in 1976. Strange though, the family name is Cotton. But we can't find anyone with that last name. Around here, whoever it is must have changed their name. I'm very suspicious of the guy who lives in the community. He seems like someone who's very down on the left. I don't think he even knows his name. Mm, good show again. Let's go have that man arrested. I actually don't think you can arrest someone on suspicion, sir. Um, I think you must. Okay. It was very nice to meet you. What are you guys up to? Oh, easy does it, man. I just swept that. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. <laughs> what are you guys doing around here? You want something? What in the world? I got to work here. Well, do you need anything or can you get out of here? First off, let me apologize. Too old for this job, and I'm still here, and I'm, my back hurts, and I just can't take it. My name's Otto, and I'm the janitor around these parts. You know, I like to keep it clean. It's got a rich heritage. It's just my job. But about this lights out business, all I did when it happened, I went back and I turned off the breaker. I flipped it, and 
I went about my business. That's all I did. But you know what? Keeping it off the record, I look into those cooks. They're real suspicious to me. They're new around here. I don't like them. And that homeless guy over there, he always throws trash to my property. And I like it clean. Anyway, I need to continue. Get out of here.